two pieces of white bread and a slice of cheese. And that's it. <laughs> there's no mayonnaise, there's no lettuce, nothing else. That was uh, for about, I think, about two months or so. Um, you guys had this smelly bastard in your basement who broke the bread beside his futon. Was that Kraft Singles or real cheese? I think I went with the um, sort of no-name store brand because I could save 49 cents. Right <laughs> but they were like the wrapped like, plastic. Oh yeah, the individually wrapped, like, sliced, processed <laughs> cheese. Like it wasn't actual it's, it's cheese. It's not actual cheese, it's actually a petroleum product. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. <laughs> Because we got that straight. Well, uh, I'll add something if you want. I, I remember uh, one of the happiest moments of my life was, uh, you know, that glorious moment when the man was actually found and word started to spread that he had been located and then... Uh, and, and then, like the, the day arrived when he came, and wasn't there problems at the at immigration at first? Yes, in the in the airport, it took us about five hours to get to Mindstad or through customs. Right, and was there expense as well? Yeah, it was about well? the. I think the government kind of randomly came up with this five hundred dollar amount right. that we had to pay, which basically was the money we had set aside to pay for their hotel rooms for the weekend. Right. So we said, okay, well, we got you into the country, but now you have nowhere to stay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>